Hey guys, this is Nirpom with the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now today I am diving with Enon's new S220 strobe. This strobe replaces the Enon S2000 with a guide number of 22, a uh, recycle time of 2.1 seconds, and a beam angle of 140 degrees. Uh, so I'm really happy to be diving with this strobe. I've actually dove with it yesterday, and I'm here back at Sun Rock diving again today. Uh, I've got the RX100, I mean sorry, the R6 Mark II, and the TG7, and I'm diving with both cameras. Now, overall, I found this strobe to be really excellent. I love the ergonomics of it. Uh, it's got a panel on the back that actually glows underwater. I was just doing a night dive last night, and that really helped me see what was going on. Uh, and I like the accessories that come with the strobe. I think Enon has some really unique accessories that you don't find on other strobes. Uh, and let's talk about those real quick. So, first you have ND. Uh, filters which basically lower the exposure of the strobe and they allow you to um, to basically film with a or I mean take photos with an open aperture and that allows you to get nice bokeh in the background now they lower this uh, the exposure by about four stops so I was having a lot of fun photographing crabs uh, and other marine invertebrates and I found that it actually made the light really soft and nice but I still got some nice bokeh and like blur in the background and it looked really cool. Uh, now if you are shooting wide angle you can use these filters here which actually make the color temperature a little bit warmer so you have a 4600 degree Kelvin filter and a 4900 degree Kelvin filter and what that allows you to do is it allows you to get warm light on your subject and then when you're post processing and adjusting your white balance your blues really come out and they really make your subjects pop and make the background pop as well. Uh, finally, you do have normal diffusers on there, which can increase the beam angle to 150 degrees. Now that's great, I mean it'll cover most scenes that you're shooting, and you can even get away with one strobe and still get that coverage. Now, in most situations I do recommend two strobes for two reasons. One, if you have two strobes you can get really cool uh, kind of artistic light. You really control the lighting, the photo becomes yours, and there's a lot more you can do with it. The second reason is in clear uh, light situations, I do recommend having two of these guys um, just because you need a lot more light to fight the ambient light. So if you're doing wide angle and it's very clear out, um, I would either recommend a slightly higher power strobe or to have two lights uh, and that'll really help you with wide angle situations. Now I'm about to shoot wide angle with the R R R6 uh, Mark II. Uh, and the 14-35 to 35 lens, uh, so we'll see how that goes and I'll put some photos of that uh, in this review. Uh, and I've already been shooting the TG7 and shooting some macro and my shots have just been coming out great. Uh, you can see from the sample images here that the strobe works excellent um, and I think it's a great update from the S2000. So. Um, if you have any questions at all, make sure you drop them in the comments below. If you have any questions about uh, TTL, which this strobe can do by the way, I forgot to mention that, but if you have any questions about TTL, settings, or anything like that, make sure you email, email us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com and we're happy to help you out. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel, it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and with that, I guess I'll see you guys down there, and uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited to see the images you guys get with these strobes.